All right, folks, welcome back to the show. Today we have the Ultra Cornhole Butter Bag. Sent to us by Dominic Sanders. Dominic, thank you so much for lending us these bags. We're going to make sure you get a sticker. Eh, maybe a few stickers. Now, how about some more stickers for Dominic for being so kind to send us these bags? Of course, we ship them back. We don't keep these bags. They're going right back to Dom. All right, let's get into it. The Butter Bag. ACL Pro 2020 to 2021. These are last year's bags. Made by Ultra. This is the purple. Pretty good looking purple. I'll tell you what, like these are already broken in. They've been used. First thing you feel is how soft they are. Mostly doing part that this fabric is extremely soft. And this fabric is extremely soft out of the box. This being the slow side, I call it a four on the speed. Scale, four out of 10. And this, it's a tough one. I, I wanna call it an eight to a, to a nine. It's pretty quick, but it's not super quick. I, I think I'm gonna stick with an eight. These are my opinions. Fill, it's a, a mix fill. Ultra does the mix. Got that nice closing stitch. And uh, my initial thought on this fabric is it's like a velvety material, but the backside. So I've had like I've had the velvet material as a sample. That's kind of what the backside feels like. Is this? It's polyester, of course. It's nice, bright white. So I mean, it's pretty cool. This is this is great stuff. They did a good job on this sublimation. Plus, it's the business end. I call it the shiny side. I like it a lot. There's little things all over these bags. All right, let's get closer up. But, er, uh, uh, ACL Pro, nice closing stitch. That classic closing stitch from Ultra. Some you'll see on these bags. I think I saw them on the Vipers that are going to be coming up soon. Is this little mark right here, right there. It's actually linen. I first I figured they did this with a post bed roller foot machine. I was like, you know what? It's just too consistent. Maybe they use a, a nice jig on an automated machine, but now that I see these little marks, and we'll look at each bag, you're gonna see that it's a stitch or two over, or over, or in, or whatever. So I think it was done by hand. It's, some, it's outstanding stuff though. Seems look good. Lineup's a little off here, but overall the lineups are on point. getting a nice look at the bag here let the bag do the talking trademark Ooh, I wonder what part is trademark the butter or the probably the ultra cornhole or this I don't know the circle you trademark a circle this is a registered copyright this is a trademark hmm interesting I wonder what they did trademark Let's see what these bags weigh on our scale here one pound over by 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Again, the difference is so negligible. It, it's not going to affect your gameplay. Having that extra 0 0.1 of an ounce, they, they all add up to what they're supposed to. Let's take a look inside and roll through this in fast motion. Well, folks, I'm surprised here. I predicted mixed fill, and you know what? It's not. It is straight fill. Unbelievable. All right, let's get this in a bowl. Yeah, there we go. It's the same. Ultra interior, single stitch, that blue thread. That fabric just comes apart inside the bags. So that's why I want I like the double stitch, but snipped off corners or cut with a roller. 
either way they're trimmed and neato. Well, that fabric got dirty. Maybe it's just the, it might be some of the pellet dirt. Anyway, here's the pellets. So, focus. And I'm telling you, I am very surprised to see that it is straight fill and not a mix of some sort. Because every other Reynolds bag I've ever taken apart, or not Reynolds, Ultra, every other Ultra bag I've taken apart has been mixed fill and, and a different kind of mixed fill. So let's get close up on it right now. There it is. Okay, now that we see it close up, I mean really close up like this. Maybe you see it too. It might be easier to see further away, to be honest. But some of these pellets are different. This may just be a mixed fill because I'm seeing like an off-white on this one, and then this one's kind of a brighter white, and it's a little bit smaller. I know the company that makes these pellets; they do have two different sizes, so this may be that. Uh, quote unquote ultra small pellet. I don't know the exact name of the pellet, but they're resin. And then this one is their slightly larger small fill. I have a hard time talking today. <laughs> it's been a while since I filmed the video. It's been two weeks, at least two weeks. I've been traveling all over this mo. But we're back getting a video. Getting this okay, this is a mixed fill. Upon first inspection. It looked like a straight fill. Yeah, it's the same kind of fill, just different sizes. Like, see this little guy? See that little guy right there? That's pretty little. A lot bigger than that guy. And it looks like a 50-50 split. Starting here, this is the top right. I think this is nylon thread. It's just because it looks like nylon thread, especially on my little monitor here. Comes apart relatively easy. Down and around. So we'll look at the end here. Snip. The machine does that. Backside, see this slide fabric. I guess we can call it the butter fabric. It's polyester. Oops, I left some threads in there. Polyester fabric, it feels like pretty basic stuff. So, really, if you were looking for something like this, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Here we can see the closing stitch lined right up with the opening. Wow. And on this side, about two stitches off. So one stitch over, one stitch over, they'd be right on the money. That's why I kind of think they do it by hand. It's still, nothing's getting out of here. This thing's so tiny and tight. Here's the inside of that slow fabric. Just super soft. And to touch on the sublimation, very good stuff. Very clean. This fabric, I expect, is going to be super easy to sublimate. Just gonna, it's got tight stitching, very tight weave. That should take color and sharp lines very, very well, which it does. So you definitely want a printer that does well to be sharp lines. It's not stretchy. Maybe it stretches a tad, maybe like 1% stretch material, but I doubt it. I think it's a straight polyester because there's no fading on it. It's got a nice sheen on it. You can read everything really easily. Easily. Back. Same type of deal. Looks good. Fully sublimated all the way down, even in between the little cracks there. Black is nice and dark. I guess there's some like guard remnants on this thing. The seeds from playing outside. Nice close-up of this closing stitch here. Here's that mark I was talking about. I think these are guides, so when they, they know exactly where to start. 
drop the needle in manually auto back tack and let her rip I don't know if you're running a length pattern and how many stitches it is total maybe it's going by eye but it's pretty good I mean pretty good it's really good we all know that I do like how they do the name of the bag right here at the top you can see how precise they're doing this top of the word is at the very top of the bag these could almost be confused for the Bruce buffer bag it's time just because the way the stitches are on the tees looks like it's a buffer but nope it says butter right here on the back same deal good stuff Measurements, measurements, measurements. Let's see here. Inner seam is six and one, two, three, four, five sixteenths. Six and five sixteenths. Easily confused for six and a quarter because it's been already been broken. It probably is six and a quarter. Guess what else is six and a quarter? My template. Just absolute random that it is that number. Because I guessed when I first made mine. Totally guessed. Opening here, it looks like a biggie. Yeah, two and three quarter inch. That makes it super easy to flip. This bag will not tire your hands out. If you're a bag maker watching this, that's a nice big opening. Wow, that was easy. Oh my goodness. Cool. Taking one last look at the fill here. Maybe you can see the difference in color. The kind of brighter white and the kind of eggshell sort of white here on this one. Do you see it? See the little bit bigger pellets versus the smaller pellets of the mixed fill? Do you see it? What about now? Do you see it yet? That's close I get, but yeah, I think you can see it now. So there you have it folks, the Ultra Cornhole Butter Bag. When this bag first came out, uh, please don't be a gimmick bag. But you know what? It's not. It's super, super, super soft. Very slinky. This will drip in the hole big time. Four side, maybe an eight. Call it an eight. It's kind of a big gap in side speeds. Because if you're throwing this side, throwing hard, and then you switch to this side, you're going to have to throw loft or throw a little, not as hard. So you got to change your throw a bit to make them work. But there are people who swear by these bags, and they win with them. They're pretty cool. That mixed fill, oh, so plush. It's nice, very soft, and it's still grabbable thanks to the little bit of edge you saw in those pellets. Feels, you know, super good. And the whole point of these videos is to just get you a nice close-up look of the bag. You can really see the fabric. See how they kind of handle in my hand, like you can see the pellets there if I stretch it. See the thickness of the fabric, how they're sewn. This is so you have more information before you buy, before you drop, what do these cost, 100 something bucks? Before you drop a lot of money on a set of bags you don't know if you're going to like or not. I mean, I'd, I'd be, be butt hurt if I bought this set of bags not knowing anything about them. All we have is a digital picture on the website. No real preview of the bag other than someone else throwing them or watching the bag land 30 feet away. The reviews are great. I love those reviews. You just never see the bag up close. That's where we come in. We want to get this bag in your face. Same with the pellets. You know exactly what you're getting. Slow side of this is the same as this on the Widow. Widow B. I'm hoping they don't do like these lettering schemes. Yeah, there's Viper C, Widow B, something, some all sorts of letters of the alphabet. I just don't know what they mean. Maybe the B means the dots. I don't know. But just leave it as butter. 
right? Do you need dots on this bag? Does it need to be slower? No. Can you get a different fabric? Yes. These feel about the same even though they have different mixes. Alright, so once again, thank you Dominic. I'm giving this bag at least one butter stick because that's all I have in the fridge. It, so really two butter sticks up.